you strong. Ooh. Recently, the United States wanted to move eight more patrol boats to the Philippines. This is the latest patrol boat transfer to the Philippines following the transfer of typhoons in March. The Philippines is the latest U.S. naval partner in the Joint Maritime Forces to receive a decommissioned U.S. Navy patrol vessel. The United States Navy transferred its last two Cyclone-class patrol vessels to the Philippine Navy, complementing the ten shallow water vessels already delivered to allies. BRP Valentin Diaz, PS-117, and BRP Ladislao Dewa, PS-178, previously designated USS Monsoon, PC-4, and USS Chinook, PC-9, have been commissioned by the Philippine Navy's Littoral Combat Force. The transfer comes after the coastal ships were decommissioned in Bahrain in March, where the Philippines officially received the ships as part of the United States Excess Defense Articles Program. The United States and the Philippines are seeking closer naval ties amid tensions in the region. Amid increasing Chinese activity in the South China Sea, the Philippine Navy is seeking more ships. Joint patrols in the South China Sea are planned for the end of this year. On Monday, the United States announced its intention to transfer eight patrol boats to the Philippine Navy. The transfer aims to support the modernization plans of the armed forces of the Philippines, especially the maritime capabilities of the Philippine Navy. The transfer of patrol vessels in question consists of four island-class patrol vessels and four protectors from the United States Coast Guard. As of this writing, the ships of this class that the United States wishes to transfer have not yet been determined. At 168 and 91 tons respectively, the ships are less capable than the three larger, 3,250-ton Hamilton-class vessels the Philippines received in a similar transfer 12 years ago. The patrol boat will be the latest ship to join the Philippine Navy's Littoral Combat Force, a command within the armed forces responsible for missions near the coast and inland waters of the Philippines. The command also recently received four Acero-class warships from Israel. This follows the recent transfer of United States patrol vessels to the Philippine Navy, with USS Monsoon, PC-4, and USS Chinook, PC-9, being handed over to the Navy in March. Monday's release confirmed that both coastal patrols are currently en route to Manila. Given the coastal nature of the Philippine archipelago, the ships will likely perform similar duties to those of the United States Coast Guard, such as maritime interdiction and search and rescue. In the early 2000s, the Philippines received two former United States Coast Guard point-class cutters, predecessors to the two protector-class vessels planned for transfer. The Philippine Coast Guard also operates the Boracay class, a similar French patrol vessel. Reuters has detailed the competition between China and the United States to harness advanced technology that could determine who will secure military and economic supremacy this century. Air and sea drones, AI-controlled weapons, and advanced surveillance are rapidly reshaping warfare, impacting the global balance of power. For almost two decades the littoral combat force, the command within the Philippine Navy responsible for patrolling the internal and littoral waters of the country, operated a single PC. BRP General Mariano Alvarez, PS-38, former USS Cyclone, PC-1, has distinguished itself in the Philippine Navy over the years in counterinsurgency and maritime security operations in the southern Philippines, where the country faces various rebel groups. For the United States, strengthening alliances in the Asia-Pacific region is also important to control China. U.S. support for Marcos was key to the project. To get inside the American effort at mending ties and Marcos' decisive pivot to Washington, Reuters spoke to more than two dozen current and former officials from both countries. Some spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak to the media. United States Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson added that the acquisition is in line with United States support of the Southeast Asian nation's West Philippine Sea operations. The U.S. and the Philippines are seeking closer naval ties amid tensions in the region. Amid increased Chinese activity in the South China Sea, the Philippines' naval forces are seeking more vessels. The Philippine National Police will always put a premium on the partnership that we have with the Philippine Coast Guard not only because of our shared history but also because we serve with the same intensity and sincerity, always on alert, 
ever ready to serve, to secure, to protect, Azurin said in a statement. Azurin also expressed his gratitude to the PCG for actively working with police units to provide conditions for marine safety, security, law enforcement and even search and rescue operations.